here we are with Gleipnir episode 10. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Okay, let's see. She has a gun. Oh, I think that's not enough, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, he removed his transformation. Now the others come. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are down. So what are they going to do now? Intro. That's what they do. They do the intro. <clears throat> okay, so I guess transforming is now out of the question because transforming and Claire getting inside takes way too much time. So, and if they try to run, then the others are in danger. So, I feel like someone has to come and save their asses. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't see how they can get out of this. Unless... <coughs> Unless King Kong guy wants to negotiate or something, maybe they he wants to talk. But I don't know. I don't get the vibes of from him that he would do that now that one of his guys got messed up so badly, right? So yeah, man, this is really interesting to see to see where this is going and how this turns out. I have like literally no idea how this can turn out <clears throat> because everything I come up with has some bad outcome, right? If, like I said, if they run, the others are in danger. They, I feel like they can't transform fast enough to get back into costume. And even then they're not strong enough to beat them because not even the gun was strong enough and all that stuff. So I don't know. Uh, will someone come and help them? I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but I don't trust it, right? So, 
either he wants to mess someone up or maybe he wants one of the girls. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, of course. I mean, he isn't a complete douche, right? But somewhat of a douche, right? <laughs> At least he gives them options, I guess. Even if it's not good options. I mean, his friends are important, but no one else, really. And lose again. Mm-hmm. But who would you pick? Then you gonna die for us. <laughs> oh my god Flashback? Backstory?
How do they know where to go <laughs> when they find a coin? I mean, in his own right, he seems like a nice guy, right? I think that won't work. Especially because there's an x-ray guy who probably can see her. Indeed. Nah. Too many and not strong enough. What? What is this? What is going on? He seems to know something when he saw the flower. He also knows something. <laughs> Is she trying to sacrifice herself somehow? I don't like where this is going.
What is the spark is in the back? Fire? Is it easy burnable? So the smoke, oh, she wants to poison them all. And the pact. Maybe that's enough to get the hint for him. Okay, he goes after them. Is he going through the smoke? <laughs> I think he's in the smoke. Okay, they go straight through it. Will he also notice it or is he somehow immune to it or something? So far he seems not affected. Big brain clear. Is he getting it now? In his own right, he seems like a good guy, right? So how long does this poison take to take effect? Yep, that's the kind of guy he is, kind of. I 
I think it will pop up and be like, surprise, motherfucker, I'm here. Yeah. Is the crack on the ground a symbol? Like, that they have... That they are, like, on two different sides, basically? And that is... So yeah, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I mean, okay, they outsmarted him for now. I mean, we don't know how it concludes, right? Maybe the gorilla guy pops up and is like, surprise, motherfucker, I'm still alive, bitches. Um, but yeah, let's wrap it up from the beginning of the episode. So yeah, obviously, they tried to shoot him from close range, point blank. Didn't work out. He was too hard, which is kind of interesting, right? Because <clears throat> we used the gun on the first girl, right? And I mean, she just had a human body and her arms and legs were like transformed, right? So the bullet pierced her and it seems very powerful, right? So she died. And then later we fought uh, Sunbei, right? And she shot him and the bullet pretty much damaged one of his blades and he seemed rather strong right so it also seemed still quite powerful because the revolver has like what six shots or so so if one shot basically cracks his blades another shot could be way more po dangerous right like destroying the blade maybe and now we have the next guy and we use the revolver and it doesn't do anything <clears throat> so yeah it, it gradually gets worse for them the, the revolver that at the, at the beginning seemed very powerful is now kind of useless it seems like um and so yeah i mean they kind of got out of this because the guy was nice in his own right right i mean <clears throat> he is a douche right he has the appearance of a douche he doesn't seem like a nice guy and he is not really a nice guy. Um, but at least, and that was a downfall, he didn't go for straight full on revenge, right? Because one of his guys got messed up and he wasn't like going like, I kill every one of you. And that was his downfall basically because he tries to get more people to gather coins. And so he's like, okay, you can choose one of you guys and I kill that one guy and then the rest of you can become can join me become my gatherers and then we're even basically <clears throat> and in that time they had like time to figure out something which is very interesting that claire has these flowers with her right i mean i guess because the day when they made the pact to now is i think a day or so has passed right so claire knew the ability of this one guy that can grow plants right so I guess she, just in case that something bad might happen, she planned ahead and having his ability in mind, she grabbed one of those flowers and is like, okay, here, in case something really bad happens, he can grow these plants and then we just start a fire to poison everyone, which is pretty badass, I would say, that she has that knowledge. 
about these flowers, right? <clears throat> um, but yeah, also very smart of Claire to be like, okay, the one girl wants to sneak up on the boss and kill him, right, with the invisibility power. But some, uh, but maybe they have they have someone with special sight, which they have, which with the X-ray vision. I mean, we don't know if the X-ray vision is able to see her, but I would guess so, right? That the X-ray vision can't see her even if she's invisible, because he can see through trees and all that shit. So they are technically not visible, but he can still see them, right? So I guess he could see someone invisible, maybe. Um. <clears throat> and yeah. Claire was basically ready to sacrifice herself here with getting poisoned. And then the camera dude wanted to protect Yoshioka and obviously himself <laughs> and completely forgot the pact and died. What a what an idiot, right? <laughs> okay, so first person is dead basically. What I'm wondering now is, like I said, what I'm wondering now is how long does the poison take to take effect, right? Is it just a few minutes? If you're like running, because they are literally running through the smoke, right? And some of them are already choking, but some of them... This is interesting. Some of them are already choking. Some of them have like no effects at all, right? The gorilla guy seems not affected. The guy with the bandana around his eyes um, with the blindfold seems not affected at all. Others are choking and are on the ground and everything. So maybe it depends on the person. Some, For some it takes longer, for some it doesn't. Um, I wonder how long it can take like overall for like the max duration before it takes effect. Maybe it can take like hours before it takes effect, I don't know. And depending on that I would say, like I said, maybe the gorilla guy will pop up. Maybe he will follow their tracks basically and pop up and be like, I found you bitches. So that will be interesting because right now we we haven't seen if he's dead or not. Right? We just saw that he picked some guys up. Some were choking on the ground. Some were still somewhat fine. So we don't know. We have to wait for the next episode, I guess. And yeah, um, I'm wondering <clears throat> when uh, Claire and the pack girl. Man, I'm so bad with names. It's already impressive. It's always impressive how bad I am that I can't remember them. Um, but yeah, um, when Claire and the pack girl stood like in front of each other and were talking at the end with the hills, with the mountains on the back, there was a crack like almost in the middle of them both. And I'm wondering if that kind of symbolizes like, yes, they joined. Claire and Chuichi joined the others, right? But now with this action that... Uh, that Claire took to save them all maybe it's like the realization that Claire is and because Chuichi is on Claire's side he's also on Claire's side on the crack side that it may be like a symbol for like they joined uh, they teamed up but they are way too different and so they're basically on like different sides right um, because others don't really want to fight they don't really want to kill um i mean the girl said if you kill him if you kill the boss to the invisible girl if you kill the boss then we are not better than him so i guess they don't want to kill they want to do this as peacefully as it can be which i guess is not pos it's not possible because there are many that are power hungry and want these coins for power and all that stuff and so they don't uh, they will they will fight and kill for it right so Doing this peacefully, we saw it in the last two episodes now, that doing it peacefully will most likely not work out because there are many that will kill for it and fight for it. Um, and so yeah, I guess the crack might be a symbol maybe. Because why else would there be a crack, right? It must be a symbol for something, otherwise it makes no point that there's like this crack in the middle I would say. And I guess, like I said, it, it basically like... Is a symbol for that they are on different sides because Claire is ready to kill to save people and everything but the pack girl is like nah we don't kill and it's like two different maybe so I'm I'm wondering if they maybe split up now again because she's maybe like okay Claire and Chuichi nice having you but 
you are too different, you are ready to kill and we are not, or something like that, right? And yeah, then we had like this stuff at the end with Elena again. So I guess Claire somewhat gets, like understands Elena more and more, right? Um, that for the love of others, you sometimes do bad things. I guess it's pretty much the message at the end that because she loved Claire, she killed her parents because she said that the parents weren't or weren't so good and all that stuff. And Claire said herself that she wants to kill her parents at some point, and so Elena did it right. I mean, she said that to to Claire herself. And then yeah, she went to the alien again. So it will be interesting if we see what she talked about him, or talked with him about, or whatever, right? So will be interesting, I would say. And it will be interesting to see if the gorilla guy comes up or not. And or if this is now basically over. But yeah, that was basically the episode. And yeah, I really want to see I, I really want to see more of this, right? Because it's interesting that there are so many strong guys that are basically stronger than Claire and, and Chuichi. And I'm interested to see how they overcome these obstacles. If at some point they are strong enough to fight or if it's like always that they have to basically outsmart the enemy, right? To be able to win and where everything is going. And man, we are already at episode 10. So we have two more episodes, 11 and 12, which are basically from the source, the manga. And then episode 13, which is anime original apparently. So... I don't think we will get all the answers right. I, I could see that maybe the next two episodes are maybe more like slow episodes without much fighting. Where it's more like calm or something and more informative right before it concludes maybe. Or maybe like I said maybe next episode the gorilla guy comes up and then we fight him. And then maybe he dies to, to the poison. Um before he can kill anyone or something and then the last episode maybe is like a slower episode that basically wraps things up right and then the 13th episode is a animal original so yeah will be interesting to see but wait are we at episode 10 or which episode are we at yeah we're at 10 um but yeah that's it so if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time Bye bye